How many of you have a scanner at home? Like an actual physical scanner? Is it even worth getting one these days? I mean, after all, we can sign PDFs on iPads or even using a mouse and a PC. But sometimes you just need to scan actual physical documents. And if you're on a Mac, we found a way for you to scan documents without actually needing a scanner. The catch is that you'll need an iPhone or an iPad for this to work. Or if you're on Windows, we also have a quick method for you to learn. But first, let's talk about Mac. On Mac, this feature is actually called Continuity Camera and it allows you to use your Apple device to scan documents and take pictures. And you can almost instantly view the results on your Mac. To use the feature, open one of these apps on your Mac. There's Finder, Keynote 8.2 or later, Mail, Messages, Notes, Numbers 5.2 or later, Pages 7.2 or later, and Text Edit. Within any of these apps, control click or right-click anywhere in the window where you want to paste your image or document. Choose import or insert from your iPhone or iPad, then click on scan documents and your camera app will open your iPhone or iPad. On your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, the camera app should be open. Position the document in the view of your camera and it should automatically begin scanning. If not, click on the shutter button to manually scan. Drag the corners to adjust the borders of the document you want to scan. Tap save and your scans will appear on your Mac nearly instantly and in PDF format. But Nick, what if you're on Android? Then switch to an iPhone. Basically, if you're on Windows or you're using an Android smartphone or basically if your ecosystem isn't like fully Apple, you can still scan documents without using an actual scanner. Although, you know, it isn't as seamless as a full Apple ecosystem uh, solution. So basically, you need to use uh, one of the many handy apps that are that can do scanning on your mobile phone. Uh, personally, I prefer to use something like Adobe Scan or Google Drive because, you know, when you scan and you're scanning documents, some of the documents can be really private and confidential. So I would advise to stick to like, you know, reputable developers and, you know, like Google Drive, as I said. So here's how you do it on Google Drive. And this is probably the easiest app that you can use. Open the app on your Android phone, click on the plus button at the bottom right of the app and tap scan. Once the scan is done, you'll be able to access the document from a PC or even a Mac. And to make it easier, you can even share the link to this document from the app just like this. Now, the experience is nowhere near as seamless or as instantaneous compared to the Apple ecosystem, but you know, it still looks almost as good as a real scan document. Just be sure that when you're scanning, you avoid too many shadows and you get everything lined up well, and you know, your results should look pretty, pretty good. So I know that you mentioned that you used to use a physical scanner. Uh, yes. I haven't had a scanner in years. Uh, I've been using my phone to do a lot of it, uh, even when we scan press releases, even when I scan important documents sometimes, I use my phone. Uh, as long as you you know, you know use a reputable app and stuff, I think it works pretty well. But I know iPhone is like super easy. Like you just need to like take a picture, then it will instantly turn it to a PDF. So it's really... Convenient. Yeah, that continuity thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Apple has always uh, had that in its locker. I think Apple has always, been, you know, it's it's just the whole ecosystem mm. thing. Uh, the only irritating part is that you know, some, not everyone wants to use an iPhone, or not everyone can use an iPhone or or a PC or a Mac. Maybe you want to use Windows. So uh, you know, I think the Google Drive solution is pretty good as well. Yes. Uh, I'm a big fan of Google Drive. I use Google Drive on my iPhone as well. So. At least there is a solution lah. Basically, I think scanning companies need to like, kind of like, I don't know man, they need to come up with something new, something fresh because scanners are no longer necessary lah, frankly speaking. Almost not necessary, unless you're in an office. Yeah, true. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this is also going to be my last episode of How To What Is, but Ray will continue the show together with the help of the rest of the team. I think Zamira and Rory are going to make some Rory. appearances as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to be supporting them from afar, so be sure you keep it up and keep up the support. I think it's been a really, really cool time to do this show with everybody and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay lah. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future videos. And we will... And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.